It's World Travel Market 2009. I'm in the Middle East area, specifically on the Ras Al Khaimah stand with Hilary McCormack, manager of RAP Tourism. Hilary, it's very nice to see you here again today. First question I'd like to ask you is, how has uh, RAP done this year in what has proven to be difficult economic circumstances for every tourism destination? Uh, as an emerging market within the UAE, uh, emerging destination, we've actually managed to do quite well. Our um, tourism numbers had an increase of 10% on the previous year. Um, we have uh, new hotels that are opening up, and um, through the, on, on average, the occupancy levels were 90, 95% for the year. So it's a very good effort. Well, that, that, that kind of occupancy rate would be the envy of hoteliers uh, around the world. And talking more about uh, hotels, what, what new developments are there in the hotel? Uh, infrastructure within Ras Al Khaimah this year? At the very end of 2009, the Banyan Tree uh, Desert Resort, which is a spa product from Asia, um, it's a five star property, um, a very boutique um, style that they have developed uh, for Ras Al Khaimah. We um, recently opened the Cove Rotana, um, which was a really um, North African style property um, that's set into a very large dune area along the coast of Russell Fema. It's extremely popular with, uh, in the local market. Um, Alhamra are just opening their the Palace Hotel, which will be uh, probably the iconic hotel property on the coastline of Russell Fema. It must be very encouraging to have so many well-known brands opening in Ras Al Khaimah, and I'm sure it will be just the start of, uh, of many other well-known hotel brands realizing that Ras Al Khaimah is a great place in which to get their occupancy levels up and to, to provide great services too. Yes, I mean, we have got some developments, uh, project, uh, real estate projects that will be developed uh, in the next five years that will have many more um, international brands that are coming. We've got Mina Al Arab, which is um, a coast... Um, Beach um, project, um, which will have approximately nine hotels um, on that, and it's a mixed-use property, as many of the properties are in the UAE. Um, but this one is particularly special because actually it, the construction that they've done has, has merely to enhance the area that already exists with natural waterways, a wetland area um, along the coastline of the and Al Martin Island, which is the first man-made island uh, for the Emirates, um, will have approximately eight hotels um, on there. So there's lots of excitement for the future of Russell Payne. Fantastic. And, and where do you get most of your, your business from? Where are most of your clients coming from? From the UK? Is that a, one of your yeah, most important... the UK important? is quite strong for us. There's mm -hmm. still uh, the possibility of lots of growth from the UK market. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be looking at that for next year to, um, to develop more relationships with the travel trade here and potentially encourage even some of the airlines to fly directly to Russell Cayman. Um, that would be nice because we have our own airport there. Um, and we have a number of charges anyway that come from Europe, so it's uh, quite conceivable that uh, we could manage to encourage uh, charges from the UK or the British Isles in fact. So obviously the, uh, the, the, uh, the runway can take large planes, sort of intercontinental planes? Absolutely, right. yeah. And they've just uh, spent a significant amount of money on an up, uh, upgrade of the of the technology at the airport, so it's, it's, it can cope with mm -hmm. uh, the arrival of any international um, airlines that wish to fly into us with them. Right, and so finally Hilary, if you've got one message for the trade, particularly the UK trade that you want to send out at World Travel Market this year, what is it? Well, I guess I would like to invite them all to check out our website, um, which is www.racktourism.com. If they don't know about Russell Kamer already, they should send me an email through that website and we'll provide them all the information that they need. Well, Hilary, it looks like a very busy stand you've got. I'm sure the show is going well for you. Thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule, and I hope the show goes well for you. I'm sure it will. Thank you.